Patricia is the founder and writer of 110 Magazine. She finds passion in shedding light on other people's stories through her respected publication. Whether she is on the go or spending time with her loved ones, she gives everything, she does her all, and that is what makes her the inspiring individual that she is today. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of In Love With Me, where we feature inspiring individuals who will share their amazing stories. I am your host, Mafe Yunan Velasco, and for this series, our topic is Finding Your Why. For this episode, we have an empowered woman, the founder and editor of 110 Degrees Magazine, and a mother of two to motivate us to take action. So without further ado, let me welcome the beautiful and amazing Trisha Piquero. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Mafa. How are you? I'm good. And such a busy woman. I'm so glad that you're able to join me um, this evening for you and um, this morning for me in Manila. Um, you know, I, it's this campaign that I want to promote mental health to everyone, especially right now because of the challenging times and with your inspiring, inspiring um uh, live journey and advice and inspiration. I'm sure everybody will be uh, motivated to know that there's still hope. So before I ask you what you've been, do been doing lately, because I know you're a busy woman, um, can you share a little bit of your background and how you became the inspiring and empowered woman that you are today? Wow, okay. So, um, well, thank you for having me on and I'm so excited we, we finally got this time. So I, um, it's funny because I did um, go to college, which is a good thing, right? It's a good start. And um, I was a, uh, I was getting a degree in psychology and I realized, oh, I don't like that at all. And I decided to get a degree in business. And when I graduated college, I got into real estate and I became a um, fairly successful, I would say, real estate agent for 10 years. I um, ended up buying some property, starting a family. And I realized that um, that it was, I was gonna have to work a lot of weekends. And after starting a family and actually marrying into a already made family because I have a stepson, um, I, want, I didn't wanna give up all my weekends. And I decided to um, find another business that I would want to, um, that, I would, that I would love, that I would, want to um, really go to be inspired to go to work every day. And so I found out that there was a magazine for sale in my area. And while the real estate market started to tank and the economy went down way back in 2000, you know, the end of 2008, I want to say, um, mm -hmm. this magazine came for sale and I decided to buy it. And that was 14 years ago now. And since then, I have launched several other publications besides the one, 110 Degrees Magazine. Um, yeah, and we've been around um, that long doing um, wonderful things in the community, sharing stories. Amazing. And congratulations. 14 years. I mean, I'm sure that's brought you around the world, obviously, uh, writing about uh, all the beautiful places in America, near America, just to share with everyone who can, I guess, take a vacation or even like local businesses, right? And I think that's really important, especially right now. So, you know, you wear many hats. Uh, you're also a mom and a wife uh, to your amazing family. And of course, I've got to know you through Shannon and I've seen you, you know, with just such high energy and this uh, positive aura. So how do you stay uh, with such high energy and, and what keeps you motivated? What's your inspiration? That is a great question. I will have to... Well, let me think about that. I'll have to say that um, for me, I really just, I enjoy life. I enjoy people. I enjoy traveling and I take the time to really do the things that I enjoy. And I, um, and it hasn't always been easy, but I really have learned, especially at my age, that I have to put myself first and prioritize 
many things like my um, exercise, um, taking time for myself, taking time for my family. And um, I want to say that I and, and taking time to do things that I enjoy. I actually also DJ every once in a while, which is a lot of fun for me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've been seeing your lives. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And, and so, that's amazing um, because, you know, go ahead, Trisha. So, you know, I just think it's important to um, do, do the things that I enjoy and, and really refuel my soul. And uh, traveling, like you mentioned, is one of those things. I have wonderful friends. I have lots of family and, um, you know, um, parties and and celebrating the holidays things like that um i i enjoy entertaining um and i enjoy what i do for a living which is also wonderful um so i think that just kind of you know all keeps me going and you know it's so you're everybody's so busy that um with this everything going on with covid um i kind of got a chance to slow down and and think about a, a lot of these things, like what is it that that does refuel me and, and what inspires me and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's it's, um, it's interesting, right? It's interesting to think about all that and um, get a chance to share that with you right now. It's, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, and it's key because I know I'm also a mom who is a workaholic and also wants to take time for a me time. And I know there's a lot of moms out there who are feeling the challenge, um, especially now a lot of uh, the families have turned into online learning. And for you, you're one of the lucky ones who, of course, I think your, your children are all uh, grown up and uh, graduated. So what would be your advice to um, other women out there who are, you know, feeling, um, I guess, the, you know, the stress and anxiety? How can they stay motivated? You know, that's a good question. Um, I would just say to me, I'm the type that I always have hope that things are going to get better. And when there, a new challenge comes my way, you know, sometimes we all get frustrated and, and we can be negative. And for me, I really believe that, um, you know, just get through it, um, figure it out. It's a challenge. How do you, how am I meeting this challenge? What type of attitude do I have in meeting this challenge? And what am I going to learn for it? because there is gonna be something on the other end that there's always going to be a positive side, even in the worst case scenarios. And um, so I, you know, it, I, I feel for people, I really do. I, my son is struggling, even though he is, um, he is a junior in high school. And so he can take care of himself, but, um, but it, it is affecting his self-esteem, the fact that he cannot, um, he's not as good of a learner when it comes to Zoom. He can, he can, he can do it, but um, he um, can't get the, the support that he normally would if he was in a classroom. And you know, it's grades are struggling, so it's it is it's tough. I also work with a nonprofit, and we tutor young children um, who English is a second language and who struggle with grades. And so I really have a heart for kids in that situation and we haven't been able to tutor them because we have to do everything remotely and all that but i know i i really feel things are going to change and things are going to get better and it's right around the corner and just for me just when you feel like oh i can't take it anymore that's when something great happens as a right. result right i agree with you you know it's just keeping the faith obviously and making sure that you I guess focus the energy on the blessings because I know yeah. that everybody is, uh, you know, being distracted because of what uh, they, they're restricted to do things. I know here in the Philippines where, uh, you know, we're still under strict guidelines. How about for you there? I know you are in California, right, Trisha? Yes, yes. But so California has had its challenges and we have been our county, it's a county by county thing, um, has been slow to open up which, you know, there's good and bad with all of that. It's good on the health end, it's tough on the, you know, business, economy, school end. So everybody is just, we're all hanging in there and slowly but surely we are starting to open. We just opened up our um, restaurants inside to 25%. Um, nail salons are open, nail salons are open, there's strict guidelines. 
and um, and things are getting better. They really are. Amazing. So let's let's talk about the positive light. Of course, your magazine is so beautiful, so amazing. Can you share a little bit on what you feature and what um, kind of businesses that you love to uh, you know put a spotlight on? Absolutely. So yes, what we do is we get a chance. Um, we are in Contra Costa County, which is in Northern California at 110 degrees. It actually gets 110 degrees on occasion in the summer here in our area. And um, so what we are, we are a monthly publication. We are print and digital and we get a chance to spotlight local people, movers and shakers, businesses, uh, uh, restaurants, happenings, events. I get to travel sometimes out of the area and, um, and really just spotlight um, what, what people are doing, share share stories, um, share people's journey, kind of like what we're doing right now. I get to do that yes. um, print. And yeah, and, and I, I love it. That's um, that's the fun. We I get to share other people's stories and I find that to be inspiring for me. So I'm hoping to inspire others along the way. And so um, every month is a different theme. And um, we um, and, and then we change things up as well. And actually next month, we are going to have a little bit of a spotlight on mental health, which I feel is a really important topic right now. So so you're right on key with what we're, we're talking about. <laughs> and that's the reason why I wanted you here, because you, know, you are a game changer. You are someone who um, I would like people to follow, you know, um, during this time, you're still working, you're hustling, grinding, and making sure that you provide for your family. So I hope everyone who's tuned in, um, yung mga ko dito sa Philippines, this woman, she is amazing. Um, I hope you learn more from her. Please follow her social media handles and also her magazine, 110 Degrees Magazine. I'll make sure that all the social media accounts are also streaming here on our interview and also in the caption of uh, you know this stream later on so that you can replay and learn more about Trisha and um, what she uh, what keeps her going you know and speaking of that um, I know as women we have our off days so I want to know Trisha how do you pick yourself back up again or if you have a deadline or perhaps this interview um, what, what do you do? Like, do you have like a ritual or, or something that you go through to make sure that you're hundred percent? Good, good question. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we all have that, right. And, and the deadlines are so stressful. And um, I want to say my, my family does know exactly when I'm going through my deadline because I don't have a lot of time or patience and for them as I, as I do normally, but um, it, it feels wonderful once you hit that deadline. And I take it so seriously. You know, everything has to be absolutely perfect. Can't make any mistakes. Mistakes. You know, the bug stops here. Uh, but for me, I, I feel like um, just knowing that, I, well, I have a great team that I, um, that I turn to and I, I count on and we are always um, really, you know, uh, in it together so the, yeah. the fun part is we get to lean on each other and um and they inspire me i mean the work they do it's a small team but they're they're fantastic and they are top of the their game in in their fields like photography writing um graphic design so they really motivate me and then i just feel like um i do give my i know that after my deadline i'm going to give myself a little a little break and I'll do a little celebrating. So every month, um, you know, what, whatever that may be, uh, believe it or not, like I said, once in a blue moon, I'll, I like to, um, I go live on, on Facebook with my little DJ session. I interact with some friends because, you know, we can't do a lot right now. So you kind of have to get creative on what you do. And um, I, um, I want to say that I just give myself an, uh, the permission to relax after I've hit that that stressful deadline because I'm working around the clock during that time. So it's nice to take a, a break and know that, okay, once I get this done and it's all good, um, I can take a little breather. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, when you see your features published and your magazine, um, you know, um, in other people's hands, that's the most rewarding feeling, right? Or is there others that you can share? 
<laughs> well, you know what? I Every time that um, I, we've done all the hard work and then when it's done, I take the time to go through and just reread the entire magazine as if I'm a, you know, a, a, just a follower or a customer. And every time I just, when I'm done, I feel so proud. It is like a child. It's like giving birth every month. I can't imagine <laughs> having, you know, the newspapers have weekly, weekly deadlines or people have, I mean, we have daily too, but but once a month, this is, you know, this is, this is our baby. And like I said, it's a, it's a nice team effort. And, um, and it, I just feel like, okay, you know what? It was, it was all worth it. And then on to the next deadline. <laughs> I know. Right. And that's crazy. Yeah. Like you, you mentioned that it's like having a baby every month. So I know that you are such a, patient and strong woman that is always meeting your deadlines, always making sure that the sleepless nights are rewarded. But at the end of the day, like you said earlier, that your me time, taking care of your health and making sure that you eat right are number one. So everyone out there, I know that you want to work really, really hard and uh, sometimes uh, lack of sleep. But um, especially right now, I think it's very important to think about your health, making sure that you drink enough water. And just like Trisha, you know, um, at the end of the day, your work is always going to be there, you know, and I think opportunities are always going to be there. But you need to make sure that you are taken care of first. Right. So, you know, I think I saw it's 15 years. You're 15 years. Well, the magazine is, was around 15 years. I okay. have been the owner for um, almost oh, 14. 15. Okay, yeah. almost 15 years. But regardless, it's still an amazing number, you know. So this might be a, a, a challenge question, but was there any top experience through these 15 years uh, of being with 110 Degrees Magazine? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> you know, um, in looking back, I would say that um, I well, the good thing is I do get to travel and have a wonderful time and see these great places and um, and experience. I mean, they they I've been sent to um, places around the world and get to see other cultures and how people are. But I um, I would say that. Um, Sometimes some of the most amazing articles are from people who are the most unknown, yet they are, um, they're the type that don't want the spotlight on them. They're not, they're not all about, you know, me, me, me. I want to tell my story. They're the ones who are doing, un, you know, wonderful things in the community just out of the, um, just out of out of the great you know graciousness of their hearts right. and they have built a legacy you know and um and some of them and they're just humble and wonderful and you would just be amazed by hearing their stories and and how they came to, to be and how how that is just a you know something a, a love for them in itself and so mm -hmm. i don't know some of those are always my favorite stories and it's not like i have somebody like that in every issue of the magazine but you know every once in a while you really find these um these the it's the people who are are um more i would say just on the under um mm -hmm. yet when you hear their story you are just absolutely blown away and um and i find it that to be very inspiring well like you you know you've been working even such at a young age and uh Having uh, a magazine that I know there's uh, many deadlines, many time, uh, you know, times that maybe you're just reaching that last second and nobody knows all this, not unless I, I put the spotlight on you. So I'm thankful again, Trisha, for you being here. And I know that there's a lot of people that are supporting you also during this journey. So maybe you want to give them shout outs and, um, and share also what's coming up for, for your passions and events. Yes, yes, absolutely. So um, let me just say that I have an amazing team at 110 Magazine, and most of my team have been with me for a long time. Um, I've got Shel Guerra. She's our designer. I have um, um, Christine Douglas. She is just one of my writers. She's absolutely extraordinary. Um, I have uh, Casey Quist, my photographer. Um, 
uh, so so a lot of my staff, I, I'm not gonna name all of them, but I love them all. Teresa, oh, oh, there's one, Caroline. She's, um, her and I started this magazine in the business together. She's been one of the sales reps and actually she's launched a publication. She lives in Scotland and I love her. Mm. But I'm, I, you know, um, that's one of the things that's so important to me is to work with people that, um, that you can feed off of, that have ideas, that have energy. And um, um, so, you know, I just want to say um, big thanks and shout out to all my team. And then of course, my wonderful husband who puts up with all of this fun stuff. In fact, when I first um, bought the magazine, which, you know, I, uh, oh yeah, I love the pictures you chose. They were awesome. So my husband, I made him actually um, work with me. I made him work with me when I first launched. That's not him, believe it or not. <laughs> That's one of my customers, and I'm his customer. Actually, we're 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 friends. But um, um, so so my husband, um, I had him work with me in the business in, in the be very beginning, and I knew absolutely nothing about the business, and so he trusted me to go ahead and spend our life savings on a business that we knew nothing about. And he backed me up 100%. So big shout out to my hubby. And then of course my sons, my um, James and Jordan. And and uh, and uh, shout out to Shannon, our mutual friend, which is the reason we met. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that, I love all your pictures. I saw them I all. Know. I was you like, picked, Shannon, you gotta watch this. <laughs> you picked the best pictures. I was like, oh my gosh, those are fantastic. What a variety. <laughs> so yeah. And yeah, I'm so that's my little surprise. I'm thankful to um so to, my little surprise to my dear. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I just wanted yeah. to say that I'm also thankful to meet with you. And one of the things that I'm looking forward to is us working together. And um, some of the things that you or your company and you are able to bring to um, my customers out this way. And so, yeah, we've got a lot of great things on the horizon. Um, uh, we've always been a print publication. We've actually been digital since I started. I was the, We were the first publication to go digital in our area many years ago. We have um, digital subscribers. We um, our website has all our past our um, magazines, actually all, all of our archives. Um, we're all over social media. We're doing a lot of Facebook lives and um, doing a lot more socially, so you know, on social media with our customers, fun stuff. And so we're going to, you know, we're we're really. Um, uh, pushing the digital end, but we, like I said, we've always been digital. We've got a lot of digital subscribers, and we would we would love to um, actually not have to print the magazine at all. But you know what? For us in our area, people love the print and count on the print, and it is still very very powerful and very relevant. And um, with that, let me just say though, we are a green company because we reforest for every that we print. So. You know, just wanted to throw all uh, that in there. <laughs> amazing, amazing. You're doing great stuff, Trisha. And I know that a lot of people are inspired with what you're sharing today. So uh, for me, you know, the my passion is to really uh, support and guide the youth right now. So with your background, with many, many years of experience, what would be your greatest advice to them, especially ones that want to follow your footsteps? Um, yeah. I what I would say and and what comes to mind for me is um, is I mean you really you, you do have to put in the work you know um, it's it, it's not just gonna fall in your lap but with that you need to I believe you really also need to follow your instincts and your heart and your voice and stay true to that which a lot of people say it is cliche however I'll just say that um, a lot of people told me when I purchased the magazine, oh, you're so crazy. Why would you do that? You know nothing about that. And when I really asked myself, yeah, why would I do this? I thought to myself, you know what? I'm crazy not to do it because it is something that I 100% believe in. So if you believe in it, that is the number one most important thing. You, you believe in something, you've got to go for it and you're crazy not to. And, um, and I, I feel it's my belief system of um, 
of striving to be successful and believing that I can, that's helped me to reach it. Yes, that's amazing. You know, that's such great advice because um, a lot of the young people these days don't know how tough and challenging, uh, I guess, 10 years or 20 years was for us because, you know, we didn't have social media. We didn't have Google. We didn't have Uber or Grab. And it's something that I always try to, um, you know, let them know that when you have that kind of mentality, you're actually ahead, you know, you're not depending on um, digital uh, or your phone, you're depending on maps, you're depending on, you know, <laughs> asking questions to, to people who have been there, like exactly like for you and for I, and I know that you have had so many amazing experiences in your life. And I thank you for, for again, uh, sharing those and being honest with what is the keys to being successful and just, uh, you know, maintaining the success. And I know that um, our topic today is finding your why, and maybe I asked this already previously, but I'm gonna ask it again so that people can be reminded again. Trisha, what is your why, and what keeps you inspiring and, and uh, pursuing this? You know, um, I, I just really believe that um, I, I'm a lifelong learner. I love learning. One of the ways I learn is through other people's stories. Um, I love hearing about uh, what other people have overcome. And, 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 and I compare it to my life. And I, a lot of times I'm like, whoa, if that person could do it, you know, after what they've been through, somebody always has it harder than we had it in life, right? And so for me, um, sharing fantastic stories and, and having the opportunity to be the vehicle that does that and to help other people to, you know, hopefully learn something new, um, uh, gain some perspective on, by, by walking through somebody else's shoes. Um, I really do believe that part of it, our story is our legacy. And I think that, um, uh, I don't know, I think when I'm gone one day, um, there'll be, you know, there'll be something that I've left behind for my kids and my grandkids um, to, to really feel like, okay, they, they, um, they under, they had a little glimpse or they had some understanding of what, um, what my life was about, what was important to me. And hopefully, um, I, I've influenced them. So, um, I, I would say that's, um, really my, my why is, and, um, um, I think that, um, helping to, educate and influence and touch people's lives while, and, and for me, I'm always looking for my own inspiration. So mm -hmm. continuing to find inspiration myself is part of, uh, of my journey and what I'm always working, to, you know, working on, working towards. Amazing, you know, um, I love what you're sharing and possibly one more last question I just remembered because this is something important to know, uh, you know, every successful person goes through challenges or goes through insecurities or self-doubt. Was there ever, ever a time or were there times that you had those feelings and how did you overcome them? Yes, I would say, I mean, it's happened lots of times and it's always going to happen. I mean, there's things are always going to change and it's how we adapt to change. Uh, the biggest thing that I remember was when I was going to make the leap of faith and, and take on the magazine. And um, I asked one of my mentors, uh, should I purchase this magazine? And she told me, um, oh, heck no. <laughs> Don't you dare. That is not a smart idea. And, um, and she was a very successful real estate agent. And I had listened to her in the past and actually had made some wrong moves because I listened to her over myself. And then I had um, actually talked to my mom and I said, mom, you know, I'm thinking about purchasing this magazine. I really love it. I've been reading it and, and an advocate for it for years. And this is a new opportunity for me. And she's told me, you know what, whatever you put your mind to, you're going to succeed at. So that's what you want to do. Go for it. So it's, it's, you know, so it's great to have support, a support system. And, but you also have to kind of pick and choose um, what advice you wind up taking because you're going to get advice from all over the spectrum, right? And and so, um, yeah, you know, I, I would just 
that was um, a pivotal moment for me. Mm -hmm. And that's very important to understand because yes, we have a lot of support, but at the end of the day, if your heart is telling you one thing, your gut, your soul is telling you one thing, that means do your own research. Perhaps you finding out the, the answers on your own might even help your decision. And I think that's what Trisha did, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's it too. You have got to be diligent. Do your due diligence. I hear it's funny because I do hear people in my business. I hear, I, I meet with a lot of business owners and they, a lot of new businesses and they have wonderful, great ideas. And I get to, I've been meeting with businesses for, since I started in this, you know, on this journey of the magazine and um, hearing about what, what's, what's helped them to be successful or, you know, how, what's, happened with how they failed um, uh, or, or like I said, new ones starting out. And there will be times when I hear one and I'm like, mm, I don't know if that's a great idea because of the fact that I have learned over time so much about my own area, my own demographics um, and um, different marketplaces. So um, I, I, but I always do feel like, you know what, um, if you truly believe in something, even, you know, I'm again, I'm always, you know, I'm just on the outside looking in, um, you've got to go for it. Uh, however, you really do have to do your due diligence and um, make some, you know, make some smart, smart decisions along the way. And sometimes it's just one or two ideas or one or two tweaks that can turn your business around or, you know, make your, make you, you know, highly successful in what you're doing. Um, I, you know, I believe so even, you know, at any time we can, we can tweak things and we can um, come up with some new ideas, you know, or decide we're going to go in a different direction altogether. Uh, but, but yeah, um, that's, that's part of some of the fun that I get to do. And, um, and, and yes, I mean, there's always, you, you definitely want to make educated decisions. Yes, exactly. And I'm so grateful and excited. Like you said, I'm claiming and manifesting, you know, successful um, uh, work together. And guys, watch out. Trisha is going to have her own show. I'm claiming it already, Trisha. So to put it out there and um, get everyone excited, especially over there where you are in California and also around the world. I mean, uh, Trisha's magazine is now on digital, like she, she mentioned. So you can go there and sign up and uh, be part of her uh, newsletter and even um, receive the magazines every month, right, is available. Absolutely. It's available every month. It's full of, you know, just great insight into local businesses, uh, what's going on around, you know, locally in our area. Um, and then it, again, we have other, we have other publications as well. Um, but it's, it's really, um, it's really a wonderful resource and there are great stories. We, you know, it's like people, you can never, there's an abundance of wonderful stories and wonderful people to highlight and places. And so um, it's, a, it's just a, the, the, what, what I love about it is, is, is how well it all comes together between the photography, the graphic design and the fantastic, um, wonderful writing style that we have. So, um, so thank you for letting me, talk all about it because um, I like you, you, as you can see, I'm very passionate about what of I do. I'm passionate, passionate about sharing other people's stories. Yes. And what, what I think is important and, and what I know you know is important is how we, especially nowadays with social media, how we see um, and can relate to the business, um, you know, to the business, to the, um, to the person behind the business, to the ideas behind the business, all of that a lot, you know, we, we really can relate to people and it's great that people have business, but a lot of times people want to know a little bit more about, you know, like what we're doing here. And that's, it's funny because you do it in your show. I do it in the magazine and then hopefully one day we'll be doing it together in, in a show very soon. Exactly. 
for you. Exactly. And that's all it is. It's you reinvent yourself, you evolve, and it's always going to be a positive light for, for us, for your company, and for everyone who's tuned in, everyone who's, uh, you know, wanting to learn more. And I do highly recommend uh, to all the moms to sign up and have your children even read the magazine because it's, it's important for them to also learn from successful people and maybe that's where they can find their passion, whether it be business, whether it be opening up their own restaurant or creating a product or even becoming a musician or artist. I know Trisha has all that um, in her magazine. So um, again, Trisha, invite them to your social media pages and um, possibly your website. Yes, 110mag.com or 110magazine.com. We are on uh, one, we are 110 Magazine LLC on Facebook. We're on Twitter, same thing. Um, our handles are the same and on Instagram. There you have it, guys. Trisha, again, thank you so much for being part of our campaign show. And to everyone who's tuned in, Kumu, Facebook, Salamat Po. And thank you so much for tuning in in this episode. Again, you know what to do. Actions speak louder than words. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thanks, Krisha. Thank you for watching and love of me series.